What's up everyone? This here is the Axle Lodi. It was a project made by a singular guy named Johanna from Belgium and actually the Flemish government helped to uh, fund an organization that helped fund the Axle Lodi. So that's really cool. Thanks. Thanks Flemish government. Anyways, it's a really cool digital board that allows you to put in some analog inputs and allows you to program it on the computer. Now I've been working on this thing for like over two years. Somehow it just keeps getting put on the back burner because if I sat down and worked on it, I'd probably get it all finished in 10 hours. Um, including all the design part. So this board here is one that I have designed and built myself and right now what it is is it has four knobs or potentiometers that allow you to control various parameters and four jacks that allows you to plug CV in from the Eurorep. It can only take a voltage from 0 to 3.3 volts so these sort of clip the voltage down to protect the circuit um, which is what this circuit here is for, but it doesn't attenuate it, but then it runs through these guys So you can use these guys as attenuators for that signal when you're not using these just as control offsets now I do want to add four more knobs to it for it to be completed and Literally, I think I worked on this part in like May of last year and then a little bit this fall and then haven't touched it since then and I started the whole design process over two years ago and had breadboarded out some stuff. So I've decided that I, this is gonna be my next video is finishing this, getting it back in the cardboard box or bamboo box that I had laser cut for it and getting something on it. So it might be a few days till I have a video up, I don't know, but let's get soldering. All right, let's go. Alright, here we have it, the Axolodi. I've literally been working on this thing for three years. It was my first DIY project, and then I got totally sidetracked by Eurorack, but I finally have it finished. You can program it on the computer, which I'm not really going to get into in this video. Maybe I'll show you some later videos, because right now I just have a demo uh, 303 sequencer sort of style patch loaded up on here that I then just quickly mapped these knobs to so that I had a little bit more control over it, and I also changed the notes and made it not in tune and more weird and generative. Um, so let's take a quick listen to this, and after that we're gonna peace out. So thanks everyone for coming by and watching. I appreciate you all so much, and um, one of the cool things about this is that you can run it on solar power, although I can't find my solar, my solar little battery pack, you know, just like a solar phone charger works. Um, so it's USB powered, which is cool, and it doesn't take very much electricity. Um, that said, I'm just gonna plug it into the computer to power it right now. And let's check it out. All right, let's go.